Hey everybody, welcome to Your Beautiful Table, a YouTube channel and a website all about helping you make your tables beautiful. Usually we talk about tabletop decor, candles, uh, china, silver, those kinds of things, flowers, candle fragrances, uh, but today we're going to talk about how you can take a disposable mask and adjust it to make it fit a little bit better, so stay tuned. Thanks everybody for coming on back. I'm really glad that you're here. This is just a quick departure. I promise we'll return to regular programming about how do you uh, can make your tabletops beautiful. You can see I've lined up some things we're gonna talk about. I'm gonna do a couple of videos today. Um, but I wanted to share with you that I haven't made a video since about May and that is because the world has just been so um, interesting uh, between COVID-19 and George Floyd and the protests are surrounding that and Black Lives Matter. Uh, it just, I haven't felt like making a video. There have been more important things going on. Um, so, but I have been burning candles and doing some fragrance and tabletop things. So I'll be bringing you some videos, but I just, you know, took a pause to like regroup. Also, I started a new job in March and moved last November. And so things have been, you, you can imagine things have been busy and crazy, but I work for an essential service. And so we've been going into the office every day. We'll be keeping our distance from one another, washing hands, wearing masks, doing everything that we uh, know to do to stay healthy. And I wanted to share with you some experience that I had. Of course, early on in the pandemic, uh, these disposable masks were just being reserved for healthcare professionals. And now they're available um, um, in, in more places. I found some uh, at big box stores and you can order them now on Amazon. Um, I still would recommend a fabric mask because they're reusable and don't uh, hurt the environment, but honestly, I um, actually prefer these for a couple of reasons, or at least from the masks that I've used. Um, so my youthful appearance is because I have a little bit of oily skin, and um, the fabric mask, where it touched my nose, would leave like a grease mark, which I just found uh, not very attractive. Uh, and so I would have to, you know, you want to wash them every day, but even during the day, it would like uh, leave a grease mark. And also I couldn't get the mask, like they are generally made for larger faces. And so it just felt like I had a mask over m most of my face. And because my face is narrow, it gaps on the side. And um, I just felt like it wasn't, you know, I know that it was catching um, the droplets that were <clears throat> coming out of my mouth and nose, even the ones we can't see. Um, but I felt like, you know, it was gapping on the sides and probably wasn't doing, uh, as good a job as it could. You can, of course, take the elastics on the sides of your mask, whether it is a disposable mask like this, and you can make them a little bit smaller and that will hug it uh, a little bit more snug to your face. Um, uh, but I just found that I, um, for right now, prefer these disposable ones. And now that there are more widely available and there's not a you know um, these are not the N95 or KN95 it's just the procedure mask um, that folks um, can get you can find them on Amazon or whatever so I saw a video where a I believe she's a dentist made the um, mask a little bit smaller and the end result looks like this um, she's able to squish down the sides and what's cool is that it fits over my mouth and nose uh, in a more secure way and I feel like it's not getting air around and out of the sides of the mask so let me show you so you know I ju you just slip it over like it normally would and then you can tuck <clears throat> the sides in I'll bring it in maybe you can see it really hugs close to my chin and neck and I'm not getting any like I'm sure if I uh, really blew hard, <laughs> but you can see that it sort of creates this little balloon um, here. And I found this to be much more comfortable than um, the bigger mask. It keeps it out of my periphery and it uh, makes it tighter on my face. And so I wanted to share with you all what I learned. I also think this would be good um, for some kids. <clears throat> so if you've got kids that are going back to school or if you got kids you know, that you um, need to take out with you when you go to the grocery store or whatever on those essential trips, uh, this might be something that you know, uh, without having to get a child-sized mask, you could maybe uh, repurpose. So let me know in the comments if you're able 
to do this with a child size mask. So what you're going to do, <clears throat> the blue side faces out and the white side faces in. So what you do is you take the mask and you just fold it over on itself. Now one side has that um, metal piece and so when you're starting, it doesn't matter which side is up, you just fold it over and then you're going to, I'm gonna see if I can get close to it. You're gonna take the elastic and you're going to make a knot in the elastic. Hopefully you all can see this gonna make a knot in the elastic and bring the knot all the way down as close as you can get to the mask okay I didn't do a great job but it's pretty good and then on the other side you're gonna take it and make a knot make a knot and then I'll try to do this a little bit better you're gonna keep the knot as close as you can to the mask and then so it opens up kind of like this and sort of looks like a little fish and then you tuck you take these sides and you tuck them in you just tuck them in it's a little bit of origami those of you who like crafts can can do this and then you place it on your face it's easier to do this with a mirror and then you adjust it below your chin and so I'm gonna tuck again of course you want to do this with clean hands and adjust the nose, you sort of pinch and adjust the nose. And then you have this well, like a mask that fits a little bit better on your face. And, um, and it doesn't gap out on the sides, it sort of holds a little bit tighter to your face. So I found this method to work really well for me. Um, it's one of the ways that I've been able to comfortably wear a mask. Hey everybody, wear your mask, wash your hands, take care of each other. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.